In the arrangement shown in figure, the ends P and Q of an unstretchable string move downwards with uniform speed U. Pulleys A and B are fixed. Mass M moves upward with a speed. So once observe the given arrangement, these two pulleys are fixed in their positions. So there is no change in the position of the pulleys. The distance of separation between the pulleys is also constant. So let us take this distance with the letter L. And from this point to here, take this length is L. Here also length is L. With the help of a unstretchable string, mass M is attached to the pulleys. When we pull these two ends in downward direction with the constant speed u. Then this mass moves in upward direction. So here speed is u. Then along this direction also speed u. And here also speed is u. So whenever we pull these two ends in downward direction, this mass is moves in upward direction. Let us take Speed of the mass in upward direction is V. In this problem, we have to find out the speed of mass M. From this point to here, this length is variable. At the same time, this length also variable. But the length in between the pulley is only constant. So, let us take length in between these two points Y. And this length x. So x and y are variables. L is constant. This is like right angle triangle. Draw this triangle here. Given angle is theta and this is L. This length is y and this is x. Along this direction speed is u and along this direction speed is v. By using Pythagoras theorem, x square is equals to y square plus l square. To find out v, differentiate on both sides with respect to time. d by dt of x square is equals to d by dt of y square plus d by dt of l square. So, differentiation of x square becomes to 2x into dx by dt, 2y into dy by dt and differentiation of constant is 0. On both sides, 2 get cancelled. x into rate of change of distance is called speed. So, along this direction speed is u. dx by dt is equals to u. That is equals to y into dy by dt is v. We want v. v is equals to x by y into u. From this triangle, cos theta is equals to adjacent side by hypotenuse. Here adjacent is y, hypotenuse is x. So cos theta is equals to y by x. 1 by cos theta is equals to x by y. So, in place of x by y, substitute 1 by cos theta. 1 by cos theta into u. So, speed of the mass in upward direction is v is equals to u by cos theta. Check the given options. Fourth option is correct. u by cos theta.